Welcome back, everybody. 9.13 is your time. And joining us this morning, Krista Davis. She is with the Austin Animal Center, and she has brought along a little friend today. Tell us more about Plato. Yes, Plato is a very special little guy. Um, he is actually with our one of our absolutely amazing uh, Rockstar foster families. I think this is number 38. Oh, really? Yes. Yes. Yeah, Aaron and Steve always help with so much with our with our seniors and Plato was actually taken into foster. We thought um, he was having some major vision issues and we were able to get him checked out by a specialist and get his vision checked and we actually had great news that he's got his vision is there. He's got it. He's all, you know, he's ready to go home. So are those cataracts in his eyes or what, what, what's um, going on I'm with his vision? I'm not entirely sure. Okay. I'll, I'll admit, but I, we do, I do know that he was, um, they thought he was blind and he's not. Okay. And so he can see, he can hear, he loves treats, he loves dogs. Um, he just needs, he's actually a low-key kind of dude. He just needs a house that will feed him, love him, spoil him, let him sleep. He's low maintenance. Yeah, Christian. he's low maintenance. He, yeah. yeah. He's, he's just awesome. Um, he's actually currently living with five or four other 50-ish pound dogs, so he gets along great with big dogs. I was going to say, he looked right at home. Yep. Yeah. The foster showed us a picture of, like, big dogs. Yes, they're all big <laughs> dogs. He got along with them. He's lived with cats. He's lived with kids. So he's, he's lived with everybody, and he's kind of just the perfect, he'd be the perfect family member. Um, he just he, needs love. He just needs love. Love, food, and a bed. Yeah. That's a, pretty much it. But he loves car rides, and he's a spunky little dude. He holds his own with the, the really because he seems kind of calm. I mean, he's 14. I mean, surprising, right? Because I thought he was seven when I asked you how old he was. And yeah, he's he's own. just spunky. Yeah, he, he's not ready to slow down yet. Yeah. Hey, but, speaking of love, you guys need a lot of good fosters, right? Yes. And volunteers. We always need foster and volunteers, and we have so many animals that are available, and we wouldn't be able to have the shelter that we do without our fosters and volunteers. And there are so many areas that we need help. And, like, if you want to come in and volunteer, we have senior dogs, we have big dogs, little dogs. I know Jason Michael doesn't like the rabbits, yeah. but we have rabbits. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we have our cats. And, you know, my, I spend most of my time actually in our, our cat medical ward and then with our new kitties. And there's so many ways you can contribute and help. And, yeah, hang on, buddy. Yeah, so you can take... You can be like Aaron and take 38 dogs home, <laughs> yeah. or you can come and walk them every once in a yeah, while. Yeah, right? and you can come walk dogs if you're not ready. If you think you might want to adopt, come f try fostering. We have so many, you know, you can try it out, see if it actually works with your family and your lifestyle. You, if you're not ready to foster or adopt, come walk dogs. Yeah. You know, we always, we always need help walking dogs. There's so many. and. It, it, the walking of the dogs actually falls on the volunteers and yeah. so we always need help yeah think think of it this way these dogs are in their cages all day so if you can just donate maybe an hour of your time so they can mm -hmm. get out and exercise their legs it's great AAC is very flexible with your yes. schedule so yeah anyway. we volunteers are able to be there from 7 a.m. until 10 p.m. so there's you can come anytime just drop in just drop in um, they, they if you're not it. and if you're also not ready to even commit to volunteering we do allow the general public to come between 11 and 7 and we are green dot dogs which are available to the general public. You can just come walk those anytime. Yeah. You don't even have to be a volunteer. You guys are still over capacity. We so are. All the uh, dogs need some walking. <laughs> yes, we actually had a couple of weeks where we didn't have anybody in our conference room. Oh. But unfortunately, we're back to, back to that. Okay. And with colder weather, we tend to get a few more in. So the need is there, guys. Yes. So if you're interested in Plato, interested in volunteering, fostering, go by the Austin Animal Center, 7201 Lavander Loop. They open up at 11 a.m. today. And, of course, you know the drill. You can check out other dogs and cats looking for a good home. Just log on to the pet section of KVU.com.